Good afternoon. This is the devotion from First Presbyterian Church, Casa Grande, for Thursday, January 7th, 2021. We're just coming out of what is called Christmas Tide on our liturgical calendar. It's the 12 days of Christmas, beginning on October 25th and ending on January 6th, a day we call Epiphany. Epiphany is when we celebrate the wise men from the East who came to worship and give gifts to the newborn king. With all the disappointment that we've had to deal with in 2020, we did get a special Christmas gift with the Star of Bethlehem seen for the first time in over 800 years with the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. Even though this was an amazing gift, I think Janelle and I got an even better gift. You see, on the 11th day of Christmas, our baby twins turned 18. I know, I can't believe it either. How did those 18 years go by so quickly? But that's not the gift that I'm talking about. For the Chris, first Christmas uh, that I know of, those two really grasped the concept, concept of better to give than to receive. They were so excited about the gifts they were going to give each other and to other people um, that they weren't even thinking about what they wanted for Christmas. And it was a tough year to buy for them, I'll tell you, because we couldn't get, uh, get out of them what they wanted. But they discovered the true joy in giving. Now, Janelle and I get complimented all the time about what a great job we did raising our children. And as nice as that is to hear, we both know that we can't take the credit for that. God has placed some wonderful people in the lives of our children and they have been shaped and molded. Uh, their character has been molded up to this point by those interactions. And I have faith that God will continue to place the right people in their path in the future. Janelle and I have tried to do our job, uh, but there have been many family and friends and some very important church family members that have helped along the way. Many of you can remember the first time that we brought them into the worship service, carrying them in, our car, in their car seats and hopefully them playing quietly in, the, in front of the front row on the floor during the service. Many more have contributed along the way, but I'd like to single out two dear saints that have gone on to join the church triumphant um, and something that they did that I think helped mold their gift-giving hearts. They had what they called, uh, uh, this is Hazel Bonebreak and Suzanne Smith, uh, who were instrumental in holding what they called the the children's shopping room. Uh, they would prepare for this by gathering things from the rummage sales and treasures that uh, had been discarded, but uh, they would gather those things together in a room and the children could go in and shop for them. Uh, and uh, then they would help them wrap their gifts and bring them home and, and uh, place them under the Christmas tree. And I, uh, I still have a few of those gifts that uh, I would like to share with you. Uh, first of all, there's this little ceramic house that kind of reminds me of the house that I grew up in. Um, there's also this uh, nice little eagle, kind of like a totem pole eagle, and it actually has a number on the back, so maybe it's a, it's not signed, but it does have a copyright sign. Um, maybe it's worth some real treasure. Uh, also, there's these candlestick holders that uh, look like trumpets. There's a set of three of these um, and my kids understood that I liked the music and actually played the trumpet one time. So there's all of that and then there's there's this guy who doesn't need a, a little toucan looking bird to, to help them out. And I keep some of these things in my office to remind me. But Every year, this would happen, and, and the ladies and, and some gentlemen would 
worked on the fellowship team would would be able to do that every year it's as a way to reinforce why we give each other gifts on Christmas because we have received the greatest gift the gift of Christ the gift of our salvation from the grip of sin and death the predicament that humankind had got itself into was done undone by God for our benefit. It was foretold by the prophet Isaiah centuries before. And I'd like to read to you from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. And if you've ever heard Handel's Messiah, I can't help but sing this in my head. Anyway, it goes like this, the word of the Lord. For unto you is a child is born, Unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, and of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice. From that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Then that promised salvation was realized at Christmas and retold by Linus Van Pelt in the Charlie Brown Christmas. Uh, you may remember Linus when he quoted this passage from Luke 2, verses 8 through 14. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord, and this will be the sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling, swaddling clothes lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. God has given us the best gift, a gift of himself from his own heart. When we get to that tipping point where we find more joy in giving than in receiving, then we begin to understand God's heart just a little bit and what joy that brings. Please pray with me. Lord, we are thankful that you have given us this great gift that you, in the form of Jesus Christ, in bodily form, in the incarnation, that you came into the world, not as a king, triumphant, but as a small child, a babe, born of a human being, vulnerable and lowly, not even being born in a, a place of honor, but in a stable, lying in the bed of straw in a manger. You came to us. We did not have to crawl to you, even though we deserved to crawl. You came to us, revealed yourself to us, and brought us our salvation. We thank you, and we love you for it. Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. After all of the things that have been going on yesterday in our nation's capital, with all the violence and the outrage, we have to remember that hate only begets more hate. The only way to conquer hate is through love. So I pray that you will keep your heart pure and in a giving spirit, that you will keep 
Christmas all year long throughout 2021 and beyond. Have a great day.